Big five underway, Lingfield to Epsom. We've got a good crowd out today. We've got Messrs Corbett, Newport and Inverdale J. And the girls bring up the rear. Pauline out for her second outing. And many went with Stanley. And the terrain is lovely. Just hold on, I need to check my map. And we are going this way. Again, glorious weather. Again, and we've got lucky. Long may it continue. And it's just gorgeous countryside. We've had the early cries of, how far do you think we've gone so far? Which is normally a sign of the first suggestion that the legs might be feeling it. We're about an hour from the pub. Now this is a first. I haven't had one of these before. Stop, look, listen. Beware of trains. Think, think we're safe there. I think we're safe there. Over Red Hill and Rygate. Down past Gatwick. Horsham. All the way down to Brighton. And I think just the other side of that hill, unless I'm much mistaken, is Goodwood, or is that a little bit further over? Perhaps it's a bit further over. So I got back from the Atlanta Olympics in the days when you had answer phones. Flick the thing on, you know, you have 843 messages. One of which was, was the horse that we had a share in, one of seller at Leicester. And I thought that's good because we might actually have made money on this for the first time. So, Four days later, I got a phone call from Peter Deal saying, Martin Pipe says, would you like a half share in this horse that we just got shot off for five grand? I didn't have five grand, so I had to reluctantly say no. So seven months later, when this thing had won £900,000 in prize money and won the champion hurdle, I was delighted. And I was really pleased when I had it. So it was a... That's one of, that is one of the great <laughs> things I'm really... I'm still, I look back on with enormous fondness. And the horse was trained on the flat by... And the horse was trained on the flat by... Henry Candy. Henry Candy. Oh. Yeah. We made it. Largely in one piece, Pauline stretching a lot, John looking as if the bend is not the most comfortable thing he's ever done in his life. <laughs> is he going to come up again? And there is Epsom ahead of tomorrow. And now we're going to go and find a pub for a well-earned drink before we all head our separate ways home. So, we're back to Epsom, it's the morning after the 18 mile walk and I have but half a mile to walk down the hill. And as is the tradition with walking the courses it seems, uh, we've got glorious weather again, although I have to say the forecast for later in the week and Plumpton on Friday it doesn't look quite so promising, but we'll see. So this is it, the end of leg five, we've walked the amazing course that is Epsom Downs, we've dealt with the camber, been joined again today by Chris and John, uh, various others have come along for the ride as we can see, look at this magnificent outfit the day before the St George's Day, the Jester. Uh, we've got George Baker back there somewhere, we've got uh, the Adams, Kay Adams and, and so on, <laughs> all sorts. And the post is in sight and any second we can declare leg five officially complete. There it is, finishing post. The jester is trying to just nick a nose. He's trying to nick a nose. They're coming for the line. We're thrusting for the line. We're coming. I'm gonna, I think I might win by the peak of my Weatherby's cap. 